what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to install HEN using the new method on your PS3 so this is for the non jailbreakable PS3 so that's um, some of the 2500 models that can't be jailbroken uh, the 3000 models and the 4000 models those are the super slims okay so this is for non jailbreakable PS3 alright so we only need one thing and that's the HFW update that's the 4.84 HFW update that's the only thing we need on our USB stick alright so I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of this and get hand on your PS3 I did this before but they went ahead and updated the website so I'm doing it over again alright so let me just show you guys my PS3 as you all can see there is no hen on my PS3 I'm using a super slim so there is no hen whatsoever let me go ahead and show you guys the system let's do an update see I am already on the latest update so I am running currently my PS3 have the original 4.84 update let me go down to system information and show you guys there it is 4.84 I am currently running the original 4.84 update from Sony okay so there's no hand whatsoever so let's head over back to the PC now and let's head to PSX place right here and let's go down you can also do this with 4.82 OFW but I don't know if anyone still runs 4.82 but um, I am using 4.84 so you need to get the 4.84 HFW okay link will be in the description up here we have some installation setup updating hand frequently asked questions homebrew compatibility and developer information um, homebrew compatibility this shows you like the homebrews that are compatible with using hen also down here they give you the warning make sure that you guys read through the warning if you do not read through the warning that's on you okay so if we go down it says what is n we all know that HEN stands for Homebrew Enabler. Installing HEN will not jailbreak your PS3. Keep that in mind. This is the closest thing we will get to a CFW. Alright. So this HEN, the only thing HEN allow you to do is install Homebrews and get Homebrews running on your PS3. Okay. It is not a jailbreak. HEN is not a jailbreak. Alright. So go down. Here is the warning once again, do not under any circumstances enable FM, FSM factory service mode on a PS3 with HEN. Connecting to PSN should be done at your own risk. Disabling CFW syscall may not hide your HEN while on PSN, a popular method used by CFW users, may not be suited for PS3 HEN users. So basically what they're saying is that if you install Webman and you disable the CFW syscall, this might not hide your PS3 from Sony. So you might get banned. That's common sense. Do not install CCAPI, Control Console API. Also beware that some homebrew is not playing nice with PS3N. Most is fine, but some advanced feature app can cause issue. We will keep you posted in the PS3 homebrew compatibility thread. So make sure that you guys go through the thread and read what's compatible and what's not compatible. Okay, so what we need to do is download the 4.84 HFW. Link will be in the description. To PSX place and every other where else so go ahead and download the 4.84 HFW this is it right here go ahead and create a folder a new folder 
call this one PS3 it should be in all caps so PS3 that's it copy the HFW go inside here create another folder and call this one update go inside it and paste it right there okay now click on the HFW rename and delete the front word right there that's how it should look so go back out go back out again now copy the PS3 folder place it on your USB stick make sure that your USB stick is formatted to FAT32 okay so go ahead and paste the PS3 folder right there okay once the folder has been pasted go ahead and eject the USB and let's head up over back to the PS3 okay guys so now that we're back on the PS3 um, I would recommend that you install the HFW update in safe mode highly recommend updating the PS3 with the HFW in safe mode okay you can go ahead and try and update it from right here but sometimes you will get a fail sometimes it will tell you that the PS3 it's already updated to the latest update but to avoid that message I recommend you to install it in the safe mode so what you're going to do is go ahead and turn off your PS3 and once you turn off your PS3 you're going to hold the power button until the PS3 um, boot up and beep and shut down back release the button press and hold it again and the PS3 will beep three times then you release so let's go ahead and do that so turn off the console okay guys so as you all can see this is my PS3 it's quite beat up but it's my project PS3 so um, let's go ahead now and hold the power button keep holding it keep holding it and that's it it shuts off now hold it again press and hold it keep holding keep holding and that's it release your finger and you should boot in safe mode make sure that you have your PS3 controller connected by a USB all right okay guys so now that we're in safe mode again make sure that your PS3 controller is connected by the USB cable make sure that your USB is plugged in the PS3 I would recommend plug in the USB in the right USB port it works better it works all the time for me that way okay so once you're in safe mode go ahead and press the PS button go down to where it says system update and press X and it says connect storage media that contain update update data of version 4.84 or later so we all you have to do now is press the start button and the select button at the same time so press start and select at the same time on your controller so it's gonna check the USB and search for the update so give it time okay so there it is started to update so sit back and give it time just go ahead and press the PS button when you get that message okay go ahead and press um, right on the d-pad go down to accept press X let it install okay guys so once you install once you finish installing the HFW you will get the typical HDMI setup screen go ahead press yes alright so installation was done 
let's go ahead and log into the user all right so guys we are we are now on 4.84.2 hfw so what you need to do now is go over to internet browser okay so now we're going to install hen on our ps3 so go ahead and press x on internet browser make sure that internet is connected to the ps3 when you get to this page go ahead and press triangle go up to tools go down to home page press x use blank page press x go down press ok press triangle one more time go up to tools go down to confirm browser close press x turn this off now press circle exit the browser and enter the browser again you should get a blank page like this press the start button delete that and you want to type um, PS3 exploit dot com press start and it should take you to their web page there is the warning again make sure that you guys read through it press X so go up to the part where it says PS3 hen go down to where it says hen installer alternative press okay now it gives you this message how to install hen close browser open remote play and quit immediately use new icon to download and install hen reboot after installation okay so press circle exit the browser go to remote play and then you're gonna exit it okay press circle and exit okay so up top up here you have the new icon install hen download and install the latest hen package reboot after so press x press x again press yes it's gonna download it install in install completed press circle now go ahead and reboot the ps3 we have to reboot but let me show you guys as you all can see there is no hen there is no hen whatsoever okay so let's go ahead and reboot the ps3 and i hope you guys saw that we now have the hen symbol let's just go and log into my user let's go over and as you guys can see we now have the ps3 exploit home um, we have the hen enabler right here package manager and that's it that's how easy it is to install hen using the new method okay so that's it guys that's how easy it is to install hen on your ps3 very easy very simple using the new method okay hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please give the video a like please share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come there will be a bunch of um videos in the description that you can follow to install games and um, mod menus and all of that stuff go ahead and check those out in the description all right thank you all for watching guys i will see you guys in my next video